When you start drawing with some CAD software, you often have to use or archive old paper drawings done before. Project CAD provides an integrated application, Wintopal, that allows to transform a raster image like a scanned paper drawing in a vector file. Wintopal is a high-quality tool for converting raster images to vector data. To convert raster image, just perform these three steps. Load the raster, click the One Touch Vectorize button, save the vectors. Wintopo can read all the principal image file types. A raster image is made up from pixels, like the picture obtained from a scanner or the screen image on a computer monitor. It has a finite amount of detail which is dependent upon the image size and resolution. The closer you look at a raster image, the more coarse it appears. If you magnify a raster image, the pixels just get bigger, and you don't see any extra detail. A vector image is stored as geometric objects, such as lines and arcs, which are drawn between specific coordinates. If you magnify a vector image, you see the lines more accurately, and the line edges stay smooth. Vector drawings are utilized in CAD, computer-aided design, and GIS, geographical information systems, and other applications where accuracy is important. Wintopo employs a two-stage vectorization process, thinning of the raster image to single pixel width lines, extraction of real vectors from the pixel lines. The approach used by Wintopo is to reduce thick or blobby regions down to single pixel width items, so that the image is transformed into lines of pixels. This process is called thinning. Wintopo provides three thinning methods, each utilizing different mathematical algorithm and producing different results. Stantiford thinning, zeng suren thinning, canny edge detection. The Stantiford and Zhang Xuan methods both produce pixels lines at the center of thick regions, whereas the Canny Edge method produces pixels at the edges of thick regions. The Stantiford method tends to produce lines that follow curves very well. The Zhang Xuan method tends to be better at extracting straight lines from a raster. The Canny Edge detection method looks for the edges of objects, and so can be very useful for images with solid regions, or photographic images, where you only want to vectorize the outlines. This method will attempt to find boundaries between poorly defined objects as well as hard edges. The Canny method does not fully thin the image, so it is often necessary to run a Stantiford or Zhang Xuan thinning after performing the edge detection. The Canny method employs a lot of mathematics and, as a consequence, uses a lot of memory during processing, so may not be appropriate for very large rasters or if memory is low. After Wintopo has vectorized your drawing, you will want to export the results to another application, for instance in a CAD or G system. Wintopo provides a number of export formats for saving the vectors to file and in particular DXF, that is Drawing Exchange Format by Autodesk. Most vector-based applications will have an import for DXF information, so you can open and modify a DXF file with Project CAD. Wintopo saves the vectors as polyline entities. The DXF format has a palette of only 256 colors, so Wintopo converts the polyline colors to the nearest color in the DXF palette.